You can make good burgers outside on the grill, but to make great burgers inside or out, you wanna cook on a flat top or a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna make two kinds of burgers today. The first is the kind that you find in bars and pubs and taverns. It's about six to eight ounces of meat made into a patty. You'll see all those little bits of fat in there. That's the most important thing. 80% meat, 20% fat. I'm gonna take it to about medium high. We hear the sizzle and everything is good. The second kind of hamburger is diner style. It's flatter, it's lighter. This is only three and a half or four ounces of meat. And right away, I'm gonna take a heavy spatula and I'm gonna commit this heresy. I'm gonna press the burger down. It's only gonna cook for about a minute and a half on this side and then I'm gonna turn it over. We're gonna season with a little salt and a little pepper. This meat that I used was cold from the fridge. There's a lot of times where we talk about letting meat come to room temperature before cooking it. With burgers, that's not the case. You want those little studded bits of fat I showed you to be nice and cold so that they don't smear, but that they actually melt. So now there's a good crust there and the darkness is kind of beginning to come up over the cliff and onto the plateau at the top of the burger. And I just slide in and I turn it over very easily, boom. And you can see this deep crusting here all the way around the burger. There's a fancy scientific term for that, the Maillard reaction. Meanwhile, our tavern burger is still cooking. So I think this first guy is just about ready. I'm gonna take a bun. Oh man, that looks good. And put it right there. I think we're about ready to turn this one over. So I slide under there and we turn it. So here we have the blank slate of hamburgers. This is the moment where you add cheese, if you're adding cheese. In order to get the cheese nice and melted, you wanna add it the minute you turn that burger over because you're not gonna touch it again until you pull it off. This is one of the big issues with hamburger cooking is that people wanna mess with it. They wanna touch, they wanna prod. Don't do that. Allow the burger to sit in the pan and allow the fat to do its work within. Don't mess with a hamburger too much and it'll love you back. All right, so we pick it up and that is a pretty luscious looking hamburger of perfect size and comportment. That's American. And there you have it, folks. Two versions of an American classic, the diner style and the pub style, both of them cooked in a cast iron pan.